Hey boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I bring you this Cold Waters gameplay. So here's here's why I'm doing this. I don't know how to engage with the Ohio class submarine, which is one of my favorite submarines because of the USS Florida and me being from Florida. It's the only uh, USS Florida in service right now. And it's like one of like four total USS Floridas. And the last one was back in like 1935 or something. So, you know, I have a lot of love and, and respect for the USS Florida. <clears throat> That's a submarine duel. I want to play. So I think I want to try to figure out if I can take down the CVBG, right? I don't know about you, but let's not do what I did in the last time I tried to do the USS Florida and, and, uh, let's not blast the, our, you know, blow our ballasts and stuff. So this is the SSGN, which is the USS Florida. There is SSBN, which is a different variant of the Ohio class that has more ordnance, but not the same type of ordnance. The GN is a cruise missile submarine. So, so this is an entire attack group that I have to deal with, okay? I don't want them spotting me, but they are currently, they are currently pinging me with, um, what's it called? Sonar. They have active sonar going right now. I am current. Can you stop talking over me, please? <laughs> it's going to keep doing that for every single sonar contact that I've got going on. I'm turning away so I can get a position that's better than where I'm at right now. I'm also going to drop depth to 91. We want 100. Yeah, we'll just go nine one. Um, the depth, the so a duct layer. I'm gonna I'm gonna explain some important stuff about submarine conflict. Um, I don't have the full the full the full wording and stuff isn't my forte. I'm not actually trained in sonar, or whatever. Zero one one's cavitating. Cavitations when you're spinning your propeller too fast and it makes bubbles and bubbles are loud. <clears throat> What? Sorry, I'm just looking at things. Okay, so what I was going to say, right, a duct layer. A duct layer is a layer of water that has a particular noise or something about it that makes it particularly hard to listen to things inside that layer. Um, I think 7.6 is better. If you notice, they're all here. I'm moving away from them. I don't want to be near them, right? I want to be much further away. I could leave right now. Now, I could try to interpret... Oh. I can start identifying. So, so as long as you're not getting spotted or getting hit by anything, I can start interpreting... Um, the the specific sounds here it is so i believe i know i can find out what, what was that no I'm, I'm actually surprisingly hungry now. 
I think this is a submarine? That's good to know. I want to identify everything if I can. Um, <clears throat> I have the time to do it because I'm sub. I'm I'm a sub, and I am currently not engaging them. And while the uh, Ohio class isn't that quiet, uh, what was I? I had a I had an idea of what I was going to talk about, and then I stopped talking about it for some reason because they keep yelling at me. So I'm currently identifying different contexts. The reason I'm doing this is to make it easier for me to decide how I want to engage, right? Now that I know that there's a submarine actively on on radar, right? I have uh oh, that's not it. I start by going through the lines. It's not that hard to do. Um. I think this one's the Udaloy. Probably Udaloy. I am really hungry all of a sudden. I just keep pressing it until I hit um, these first three. I have a good idea of where those other two ones are and one of these is going to end up being an aircraft carrier it's not a merchant ship it's not that which is another merchant ship Currently just trying to get the, uh, yeah, here you are. Right there. I'm really hungry all of a sudden, so I've got to deal with this, and then, oh boy. Okay, <clears throat> so while I am in uh, silent running, I can't do anything like reload weapons or anything. Um, it looks like they have a vague idea of where I'm at, so they're coming into my direction. Sierra 2 wants to play, apparently. If I launch torpedoes... They will know it's they will know I'm here. If I launch anything at them, they will know for sure I'm here and I need to boogie. So I d I haven't I know there's a, there's a carrier out here. Um I thought that would be it, but it's not. Okay. See, are they in my baffles? They're not quite, but I do want to plot my course to parallel them a little bit more. <laughs> so, my plan is to get up to, I think it was 42 or something uh, height. I think it's like 45 or 46, because I can do it at 47 depth. And then launch all my missiles into their general vicinity. <clears throat> um, and when I say all, I have 100 weapons that I am going to push into their faces and hope to kill them. I have to overload a lot of, uh, what's it called? I have to overload a lot of anti-air defense. And so to do that, you, to, to deal with air, you shoot a lot of missiles and i want to target ships and not um oh that helped a lot i don't have the car but i have i have rough positions of a lot of ships 
there's the Kiev. I want to put the Kiev down, but I don't think the Kiev is really a worry right this minute. They have a rough idea that I'm here. They don't know where I'm at. So what we're going to do is go to 46, retract the toad array. And then I'm going to unsilence when I'm up there. Oh. And and put um put a bunch of missiles into the sky and and see what that does to them, right? They haven't been pinging me heavily, but they have been pinging me. My toad array has been retracted. Awesome. We're not quite there. So we'll put like five or six or seven into here and then... Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want all my missiles to engage a, uh, the same targets, though, either, right? So I need to have them... Yep. Dive at 4-6. We're there. I'm real shaky now. Holy shit, this is not going to go well. But, you know, here we go. I paused it because I'm, I'm trying to get the shakes out. Holy shit. Remember when I said I was starving? I'm starving. I am just super hungry. So what you do is plan your attack and then you engage, right? We're going to engage like six people at the same time. So we want... um. Sorry if I'm not talking. And then So what I just did was a, I did a strike. I don't know how many I'm going to hit until after it hits. I'm going to start lowering depth to uh, pretty deep, right? Because I want to get low. We probably want to go to 300. I think I can. Oh, <laughs> the game didn't like that. How many missiles? I, I sent out over, 50, over 60, miss 70 missiles? And the game did not like that. Yeah, the game is now processing all of what I just did. I may have made a mistake, but that's how you defeat air defense. <laughs> oh, CR-10 is dead. Cool.
Okay, how many other things died? Because that was a lot of missiles I put out. How far is he? He is 20 kilometers. Okay. I'm just making sure I don't hit the bottom of the ocean. With those weapons, I can't just leave. I have to wait till um, the weapons do their thing or explode. They're going to keep dropping stuff on me. But I'm so deep that, uh, it almost doesn't matter. I should be more than 25. Yeah, I'm more than 250 meters below water. 25 knots should be fine. I'm going to boogie on out. See, they're all running from me because I've, I've attacked them, you know, from a good position and they can't really do anything about it. I'm going to let them gain some distance and go back to the surface and strike again. Right? Because that's what you do. It doesn't seem very interesting to to be doing this uh, in terms of watching, but it can be really neat. <clears throat> These torpedoes were roughly where I needed them to go. Um, so I don't mind them going active and just going in a straight line until they fuck someone up. I'm going to let my tubes rearm. I'm going to keep moving. I'm going to give it some more time. I'm gaining some distance. That way there's no more torpedoes near me.
There's that torpedo. That happens too. Where, um, Torpedo room, tube one ready. Con torpedo room, five and two. Con maneuvering, making turns for one, five knots. Con fire control, we've lost the water. I'm hoping that that moss will distract the thing while I go away. Let's see. Now I'm watching my speed and my uh, my depth because if it, if I go too low if if I go too shallow while being up there I will um accidentally uh cause it to think I am surfaced Code array is out? No, it's not. Retrieve the code array. Aye, aye, sir. Con sonar regains contact. Con maneuvering, making turns for five knots. Con sonar regains contact on Sierra five, bearing two, two, zero. Con sonar. Sorry, just brain working real slow right now. Can I... I never did figure out what CR11 is. I think it's that. Con sonar, Sierra one one is classified as merchant. I actually forgot entirely about the enemy sub that I had to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything to deal with the enemy sub. And if you notice, I haven't actually started pinging. I think Sierra 8 is... Yeah. So, we want to pop... A few... Here... I would like to deal with the ship that that exists. That 
Did I hit something? Is there something a lot closer than I thought it was? So what I was doing was I was trying to make sure Oh, I hit something. Nice. So these things have really good uh, tracking. I don't want to waste too many of them now. I don't think I can fire. Well, no, that's not quite true. I'm going to follow these launches. I don't know how long I'll keep a hold of the wire. But I want them to lower in depth as well. Since what's his fuck is down there. See, the unfortunate thing is, I don't actually know what's happening in particular. If that makes sense. Because I'm not on the surface, because I'm sitting underwater, I'm not able to put up my radar mast, so I can't tell what's happening. And if I did, I'd get absolutely spotted immediately, right? Um, that's the other thing. That's why I'm not surfacing completely. Um, I can stay under here. I'm going to stay under here, right? I'm going to stay here and, and keep firing missiles at what I think are targets until they die, uh, hopefully. Did I actually hit him? I think I did. Huh. Oh, 
on fire control. Launch right completed. Someone just fired torpedoes for some reason. I'm gonna have to turn away. Or... What is that? Oh. That's what that is. Oh. Something got hit. I don't know where that's going. I'm gonna kill the Kiev. He's he's gonna die. I hope. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra five. Last bearing two. One. Three. Contact breaking up. That's actually why I'm keeping so so if you notice I'm being careful not to break my wire on my on my on my torpedoes. That's because that allows me to change their course in case the enemy changes course and he has. Who did I kill? Oh, I got the car over there. Okay, cool. Thing is, I don't want to surface until I'm certain that that sub is dead. So, you might be wondering, why do you want to surface? That's why. I want to kill those things. Shit. Where's my... Where's my... There we go. Can I fire my Sam? I didn't want to, but he's annoying me. Yep. God, missile system has been reloaded. Fire missile. I want to deal with these planes and helicopters that are harassing the shit out of me. Our 
system has been reloaded. Oh, those are SAMs. Or, or cruise missiles. Okay. Unfortunately, oh wait, no, everything's fine. Okay. What's it set depth to? It didn't. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Passing six hundred feet. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing. Make depth. Three zero zero. Die by. So we're gonna go back up to two. Passing one thousand feet. Two fifty nine. So he had the pop noisemakers to avoid my my torpedoes. Con sonar lost contact. Master one. Last bear. Con torpedo room. Two jams on launch. Oops. That's my bad. Do I have... Sonar is not active. Uh-oh. Hmm. He might have screwed himself. Where's my toad array? Oh, it was out. Oh, okay. Well. The toad array is what I understand. Contact on. Master one. Bearing two. Zero. One. Kiev is still around? Lost contact. Sierra one. One. Last bearing two. How did he die? Zero. Contact faded. Oh. Why are they dying? <laughs> Why are they dying? I don't know. So the reason that I want the toad array out is it helps scan behind me, I believe. It's it's a sensor array. We're just gonna cruise at two five knots to get away. Um, I killed one of the I killed the helicopters and the plane, which helped. Uh, but there's probably more. And this fuck boy. Okay, can I slow down a bit? I think I can. Make turns for one zero knots. Maneuvering on. Con torpedo room two inoperable. I think that's permanent. Oof. Con sonar noisemaker bearing one six nine.
Look at this. So, currently, I'm dealing the my, my biggest issue is this submarine. He's a danger to me. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn a little bit. The reason he's a problem to me. Is that I don't have to worry about the other ships. They can't find me, right? Once I dealt with the aircraft and I can deal with more if there's more aircraft, I don't have to worry about those. I think he's still dealing with the after effects of those torpedoes. Where is that even going? Where is he shooting those, though? Because if he's shooting them to the left... Oh, no. That's odd. I think he's dead. I think he's sinking. I think he hurt himself and now he's sinking. Oh no. See how he's see how he's not going up even though he's pushing to go up. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one one last bearing two one. Where's Sierra one two? Oh, there he is. There he goes. Con sonar regains contact on master three bearing two two six. I should have reangled that. Oh well, it's fine. Oh, I'm out of I'm out of ad caps. Oh shit. Okay. That's not good. Um but I can deal with that. Basically, it just means I'm out of I'm out of torpedoes, right? Like regular torpedoes. I have one more torpedo to fire. Where is So we're gonna go back up since I don't really have anything to worry about right now. I should have. Oh well. Oh, 
Oh, maybe he's firing at one of my decoys. Duh, I forgot that I put those out. So most of what I'm doing is paying attention to this little map. Why do I not have it like this? Because there might be something I can physically see. I, I'm not sure. I just I'm just used to doing it in that little map there, right? It's not a lot, it's not very great, but my plan is to surface mostly and start firing more of these things. Cause I have more that by the way, something that fucks with me, the Kiev survived um my strike. So I don't know what's up with that. It also looks cool. My last torpedo is loaded. Missile launch detected. Missile launch? But he can't hit me. I'm underwater. <laughs> I have 24, 25 of these VL, VLS uh, T lambs. I don't see any helicopters. Unless he fired a nuke at me, to which I'm fucked anyway, so. That could have been what happened, but I don't think so. That's not supposed... Is that a merchant ship? I think so. Where's my periscope depth? So I'm going to go to periscope to see if I can put my stuff up. It keeps me relatively safe. I don't think there's going to be anything like in terms of uh, them hitting me with missiles, but who knows? Unless it, unless it is a nuke, to which I'm screwed. I've had that happen before on my Ohio, uh, the Iowa class when I was playing that. Uh, a submarine shot a nuke at me and then fled. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I didn't know it was a nuke until, you know, I was dead. I still have this boyo. Are we at periscope depth? Slowly, uh, you know, coming up from the water. Yeah.
that good enough? Yeah, no. There you go. See, those are anti-air missiles. <clears throat> he's firing a couple and he's turning. Didn't hit one. That's going to miss. Oh, nope. He got one of the tea lambs. I am trying to hit a ship with uh T lambs which are land ba which are land targeting missiles. I think they're out of missiles, though. In terms of ship ship to ship missiles. Yep, one of my T lambs was shot down. That's why I've got like six of them in the air. Where is that going? I might just be better off leaving. Okay. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra one, two, bearing one, eight, four. Need depth four, six, sky high. Lower the radar now. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra one. Need depth. 
cohabitating. Okay. So, I sunk one of these, a Cara, a Cresta 2, I killed the Sierra, which is a submarine, and the Kazbek. Everybody else escaped, including the Kiev. But uh, that's a lot of lot of damage output. And uh, yeah. So I hope you guys learned how to play this game. Uh, I certainly fucking still don't know what I'm doing. But, you know, it's it's a it's a step-by-step -step process. Now, I'm starving. That's one of the reasons why I decided to end that specific mission. Because while I could have tried the struggle to win, um, I'm really hungry. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video. And uh, I will catch you guys later. Bye.